Well, we're all about the moolah. Another big bad game is on deck as we head down the stretch of our final day of pool play. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. The Voice, here with Robbie Hummel in your ear as we get back to it. We got the HBC You Don't Want None against the Dirty South. And a quick score, A.J. Lawson out of Texas Southern in a rush to the cup, and he starts to score for an HBC You Don't Want None team that uh, finally got their first bag, a 21-15 win over the Bad Boys. After starting off 0-4, Robbie, but really both of these teams are, have seen the trajectory start to change. No doubt, and honestly, drives like that A.J. Lawson drive are the reason that they were able to find their way to the win column against the Bad Boys. They've driven that thing and played more to their strengths. Yeah, representing this uh, HBC, you don't want none team. We'll get back to them, but here's your Dirty South team right here with John Fulkerson. He has been yamming on people out here. He's out of Tennessee. Uh, Demonte Buckingham out of UNC Greensboro. Conley Garrison out of Furman. And David Jean Baptiste out of Chattanooga. That is the quartet of the Dirty South. Meantime, it's Grant Sand. That would be Ladio Grant saying out of Morgan State missing. And ball is recovered. Juan Morris of Arkansas Pine Bluff. He is bouncy. He decides to give it up. He will get it cut. back. Even better pass. Oh, I like the cut, G. Sharon is Karen. Daquan Morris, the little back cut. That was a missile of a pass. Now, HBC, you don't want none. They already suffered a six point loss to this Dirty South team. So they're looking to get some get back. And they're eyeing their second bag. Dirty South have already won three grand to this point and lost two games. There's the incredible folk on the right wing. And oh, missed the crib. It's a good cutting Dirty South team. You saw it right there with both Gene Baptiste and Fulkerson. That's got to be a foul. <laughs> he was trying to foul. It was like he was giving him an attaboy. He hit him on the shoulder and everything. <laughs> attaboy. Take another look at the dime set up. Morris with the easy lay. And now we get a chance to see Grant. He's been playing well today. Lagio Grantsan out of Morgan State. He's really from Utrecht, uh, Netherlands. And he cashes in at the line. Garrison, he left him like the relationship was over. 3-3, three, three. It, it is. Now Garrison, he will clear. Buckingham, take that with you. Devontae Buckingham has just been a guy that's been so efficient. Coming in today, 63% from the field. Good for fourth at 3x3U and showing off the stroke right there. Uh, there was a little glitch on that play, uh, miscommunication. But another look at that last two piece. We're going to close out short to a guy who shot 42% from three this last year at UNC Greensboro. And what a cut from Conley Garrison. Man, he is cat quick. Oh, but he, he's on his behind. He's able to recover. Great recovery there. He went down in scramble mode. They, they force a contested tough shot by Bryce Moraine. Should have been a layup. Another good cut. Nice. Good ball movement here. They are passing it like a relay. It does not lead to a make, however. Oh, Grant saying, you going to leave me alone? I guess so. It's the right decision. This has kind of been the story for HBC. You don't want none. Yeah. 0 for 5 from 2 here. The one win that we saw them get, they shot it well from two range. And didn't shoot a ton, but they did make a good percentage. And there's that negative step by Bryce Moraine. You end up stepping back, and that foot hits that sideline. As you know, uh, Robbie, uh, you, you've had a success in 3x3. It is an adjustment for guys that are used to, to playing five on five. You, you're playing on a half court. You don't have a coach. You got 12 second shot clocks. It, it's, it's, it's a different beast. When you're fighting extreme fatigue, which you wouldn't think in a half court game, but you're transitioning from offense to defense, back to offense. It's consistent play. And there's no stoppage, no time to rest. We're talking about how the uh, pool looks like it's going to shake out. This is, this is tighter than aerobic clothes. We got three teams at three and two uh, in my group. And uh, the top two are the ones that are going to earn the buy. So this action should be intense in pool number C as we, again, head down the stretch here. 
They're going to get John Fulgerson for not clearing that ball. You've got to get one foot behind the three-point line and lift the other. Yep, uh, or you cannot continue play. This play is going to uh, be halted for the moment. TV timeout as both teams will get a breather and get a chance to strategize. Every player in the huddle is a player coach. And uh, our action-packed April rolls on, highlighted by the Women's National Championship game between UConn and South Carolina. That's tomorrow on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus. The Bucks battle the Bulls Tuesday on ESPN in a marquee matchup between two of the Eastern Conference's top squads. Major League Baseball's opening day, that's Thursday. And we'll have the Reds and Braves at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on ESPN2 and ESPN Deportes. And next Saturday night, UFC 273 features two title fights. I can't wait for that myself. Oh, man. He was sent away at the front door. Conley Garrison has shown himself to be a very good defender and in this event he has been all over the place forcing turnovers there staying right with that cut and blocking the shot. And Lawson kind of a wild attempt right there Garrison skies high for the rebound. Buckingham oh, goes to the ball and got right to the rim. Just nice through the defense and he finishes at the rim. Five point lead. Oh, the dream shake there by Grant yeah. Sam. Yeah, he's dripping in finesse. Nice touch, too. But you got to transition to the defensive end, a break there, because Buckingham got a good shot. Yeah, he did, just didn't make him pay. Oh, Grant Sam going to work. Oh, he didn't finish, though. He's going to finish! Oh. Emphatically! The monster match. I told you he was bouncy. He is. He's like a human pogo stick. This ball gets knocked out and look at the rise. taste of John Fulkerson's own medicine. He's been catching bodies all tournament, but now it's Daquan Morris's turn. Somebody's been sipping on some helium. He got some extra lift right there and threw that thing down. Now, in the last contest. We saw Baptiste, Gene Baptiste, man, he was going off. Do have 12 points in that uh, last victory over the Horizon Valley Hoopers. Big shot. Spend their kryptonite. Can they make enough twos to hang in there? Oh, oh, got a April Fools was yesterday, <laughs> but he tricked them here on April 2nd. Oh, the drive. What you gonna do with that? The spin cycle. I'm trying to tell you, it's a one-point game. Back and forth we go. It's an Aaliyah track. HBCU don't want none. It's gotten a lot better over the course of these two days. Gene Baptiste took him in the deep end and he's taking it overboard. Oh, Lawson elevates for the easy score. Lawson is really taking advantage of the matchup against him. But Garrison is just relentless on the defensive end. And we get another look back at Lawson driving, taking in the spin class, and then he finishes off the glass. A.J. Lawson's numbers this last year at Texas Southern don't do him justice. Six points a game. That's a team that played nine guys about 18 minutes apiece and another nice cut. For HBC, you don't want no one. They've had a lot of success. It's been drives and cuts to the rim. They're starting to get a, get a better feel and a better understanding of how you play this game of 3x3 effectively. It is again. I think they, they played more to their strengths, too. Not a good shooting team. Now watch Buckingham right now. He is roaming this perimeter, and he's going to make his way to the corner. He's wide open. There's one play that the players have really took a grasp of. It's that play, and Buckingham chucks the deuces and sees it drop through. Morris pull up. No, sir. Gene Baptiste. Oh, that corner has been good to him the last two possessions. Two open twos. So a five-point lead for the oh, Dirty South. A weird finish. I thought Moraine could have just taken that in, laid it up normally. And again, we'll get a look at that free throw play. We talk about transition offense and poor transition defense. This is this is a fast break in 3x3, <laughs> essentially. This is where if you're the offensive team and you're the team that's shooting, you're better off just taking a guy off the line and guarding the defender who's on the perimeter. Yep. Otherwise, uh, an easy look is the result. Oh! oh. 
Fulkerson, he had that one. Fulkerson has been throwing it down through the last day and a half. And it, had that not been poked away, well, I thought it was poked away. No, it just, just, I think it just came out of his hands, Kyle. Oh, Shaq in the food. Shaq in the food. You got I guess it's excusable. You know, I'm always looking for a big highlight. That was an opportunity there, Robbie. A missed opportunity. Yeah. Anyway, we're under that four minute mark, so that's another TV timeout. It's the game where that uh, physical attrition can, can get on you very quickly. As we get a look at my pool, this is the Montgomery pool, and I mentioned that three way log jam at the top Dirty South, three and two, Horizon Valley Hoopers, three and two, and the Bad Boys, three and two. HBCU don't want none. Uh, they will not be competitive in terms of having an opportunity to come out of this group with a with a bye. But uh, this is all going to be settled by the end of business today. I would say a team that is, is playing better. You know, if you saw these guys early on in the tournament, you might have said, hey, we're going to get an easy win. But then they have found a way to improve and playing their best basketball here as we go to Sunday. Yep, Sunday. Drive. Sunday's the big payday. Once we get to the quarterfinals, uh, the games will go from $1,000 to $5,000. Semifinals will be worth $10,000, and of course, our championship game will be worth fifty grand, dollars $150,000 in total prize money paid out here at this fourth edition of the 3X3U National Championship, brought to you by Dos Equis. We have, we have a lot of fun. I, I don't know if you guys can tell. Kyle Montgomery, Robbie Hummel. Happy to be bringing you this action. We got a four point game. HBCU don't want none. Oh, what a tip. That's AJ Lawson. Just going to the glass and making things happen with his effort. Grant Sand just how saw that fall in his lap. There's that cut again. They're so good on the ball. Put that back. He followed it like a stalker. He's been the best dunker that we've seen. And coming into this weekend, I would not have assumed that John Fulkerson of Tennessee was going to be that guy, but he's is been it? a highlight machine. He is the incredible folk. <laughs> <laughs> he cleans up the mess. The big fella devours it. Those are the ones that have you licking your chops. That ball comes right off the rim, and it's got a whole full half steam. Look at the activity, man. He is getting busy down there. And the Dirty South, they can taste the money. Oh, oh that's wow. got to be a foul. That was a unique make. It's a tough finish. Yeah, it's Facing back, us. You're right, back yeah, to the rim. Back to the rim. Put that English off the glass, took the contact. That's Lagio Grantson, an opportunity for a two-point play. And remember, we, we've got David Jean Baptiste on the perimeter. See if Grantson can get to him. <laughs> Yep, Doesn't right. matter if you don't get the rebound, though. Yep, good way to clean the glass there for Lawson, who's also been active. There's Grant and he takes the feed. Oh, yeah, and he's smashing like two potatoes as he elevates and keeps HBCU don't want none in it. It all came because he set such a solid screen. Grant Sand seeking out bodies. The contact is there. He rolls it right to the rim. Terrific pass, and Longio Grant Sand is hanging on rims. Doing well uh, is Grant Sand. He's got six of HBCU don't want none, it's 15 points. As he takes the package and he delivers. Devontae Buckingham in, in position, but not with the interest to go up and contest that one. No, sometimes it's just not worth it. it <laughs> Understand your battles is what you're saying. Yes, you don't want to be on that guy's IG account. <laughs> and a reminder, if you're new to 3X3, first of all, where you been? Uh, welcome, we're happy to have you. It is a 10 minute sprint to 21 points. First team at 21 wins, or the team that has the most points after 10 minutes expires. Uh, everything inside the arc is worth one, as opposed to five on five is worth two. Everything outside of the arc in this Look game out. is worth oh, two. Oh, that's a foul. Uh, alley oops are frequent in 3x3 hoops as well. Uh, that one they did not connect on. How about that drawn up out of a timeout, though? I like that. Throw up that little lob back screen action. I think we're going to see more and more of that, especially as we head into tomorrow's. Final day of action, Fulkerson, Jack. Nice move. Oh my. He's playing great. What is that, Velvet? Soft touch from the big man. Morris. Oh, man, the <laughs> way he gets off the floor. 
Daquan Morris is a live wire. Jump hook. Still within striking distance, but maybe not for long. Whew, that was close. Team Baptiste just missed the mark. Good pass. Oh, yes, definitely a hack right there. So, Lavio Grant saying, trying to keep the pulse going for HBC, you don't want none. Here's Grant saying, and oh, he took his eyes off the, the rim. That would have been a big make for him, but uh, not the case. Meantime, Gene Baptiste out to focus it. Put it on. Was oh, it hit, <laughs> it hit the uh, the beam up top. Too much arc. Wow. You got to be cognizant of more than just the players blocking your shot. You got to worry about the, the light beams or whatever those things are. It's like Jerry's world, the Dallas Cowboys can't kick your punt too high. <laughs> just lost and spinning free. Might have had Grant saying he's dead. He chucked the deuces. And it's a miss. So Garrison, Fulkerson, and Gene Baptiste on the court for the Dirty South. Fulkerson didn't score any of the first 16 points for this squad. He scored three straight by himself. And they are within two points of putting this one away. As a good timeout. And timeout to charge to HBC. You don't want none. As they trail it by three. And we welcome you inside the Sugar Mill. One Mo again, Kyle Montgomery, Robbie Hummel here with you. And uh, we knew that day two, the action was going to intensify as the playoff bracket was going to be set. We've seen teams display a better understanding of the nuances of this game of 3x3. And uh, we've, it's been a treat today. It has. I, like I think the level of play has really improved here today as teams have figured out what they need to do to be successful. It makes sense because it's like a different sport when you start playing. There's some really subtle nuances that if you don't know, it's going to be tough to have success. Garrison with a strong move. The man's rebound by Conley Garrison. The weak finish. Garrison, he left him. He's a loner. And he finds himself by himself at the rim. Game point for the Boy, Dirty South. It ain't over with yet, Rodney. Gives him a chance. Lawson hits the deuce. Gene Baptiste wants Looking. to put it away. He did not forget to tip. That was gratuitous. And that tip is going to earn his squad another bando. They get into the paper yet again. It's a band for the Dirty South. As HBCU don't want none. Well, come up empty handed. Not only do they have some cash in hand, they've got, uh, we used to be go by the gold standard. They got, they got gold around their neck. So once again, a 21 to 18 victory for the Dirty South over HBC. You don't want none. Uh, uh, time for a money secret from Invesco QQQ. When using that hard earned cash, spend with intention. Know your priorities and spend that fresh thousand dollars on what matters most for you. For more on how not to suck at money, visit HNTSAM.com. The big faces are flying. That's a big win for the for the Dirty South, who has cleaned things up. And they're over in the Dos Equis Lounge with Tate Frazier. Take it away. Yes, we are here in the Dos Equis Lounge. And, uh, you know, yesterday you guys lost your first two games. There was a lot of, what are we going to do? Are we going to figure this out? But you guys came and said you had a players-only meeting. And since then, you guys are 4-0. John, can you speak to that? What happened in this players-only meeting? Is this just a joke or is this real? Is this really happening every game? No, nah, this is real. And players-only meeting stays in-house. So, yes. so we can't talk about anything that we talked about um, players-only meeting. <laughs> and again, no coaches in 3x3U. So again, it's on the players to figure this out. You guys are back-cutting. There's a lot of action. Can you, can you talk about what you're drawing up in these plays? Or is it just figuring out what the defense has given you? This is all about knowing each other's game. Yeah. You know, we feel like... Since we all been around each other the first three games yesterday, we kind of pick each other on these games. So we're just trying to figure each other out and just keep playing. And I feel like we finally executing the right way. So we're trying to keep it going. Well, there you go. The Dirty South, 3-0 and today. Uh, is there any
there any message to the haters or are you guys going to keep it all in house like the players only meeting? I right, mean, we're going to keep it all in the house, man. You know, we're going to stay together and you know, keep on doing what we do. There you go. The Dirty so. South 3 0 today. A, a force to be reckoned with tomorrow. We'll see you back in the Dos Equis Lounge, yes, fellas. Sir. Thank yes, sir. you. Sir, appreciate, appreciate it. it man. Yeah, big congratulations. We got more action on the way. The bad boys against the Horizon Valley Hoopers are on deck after this brief break. Keep it here. You're watching the 3x3U National Championship.